Well, we survived our first weapon from the plants, and that was the thorns. For the second one, we moved to an urban botany setting. Which reminds me, guys, there are cool plants everywhere, even in your own yard, if you just get outside and look really carefully for them. Where was I? Urban botany setting, where we're looking for one more weapon that the plants have to use against us. If everybody look carefully, shh, I think I hear it. There, right there. Don't try that in your own yard. We've got a cactus right here and I see a spine. If we move in on this one here, I'm gonna show you. This one doesn't show the spines well, but it shows the first things that you need to know about a cactus to know the spines. This cactus species has the pad right here, and that pad, this pad is a stem. So these are different stem segments. And then those dots on it are actually what we call nodes. And those are regions where, where leaves would normally grow. So a spine on a cactus is a modified leaf. Sorry about the car. Again, it's an urban setting. Okay, so we've got the node here where the leaves would grow. And now let's move over to another cactus species I have right here that shows the actual spines. So if you think of the nodes as being where the leaves grow, the spines grow out of those nodes. And the spines are really just the vascular tissue, the veins from the leaves. And specifically, they're a cell type called xylem, or a tissue type called xylem. The xylem is the water conducting tissue, and it becomes very hard and sharp in these, and then the rest of the leaf doesn't really develop for the most part. So these are modified leaves, these spines are, and that's one of the things in a cactus pad that will poke you. Turns out cacti actually have another thing that can get you as well. They have these little hairs right down at the base of the, the spines that you can't really see here, they're almost microscopic. They're called glaucids. And these glaucids have really sharp, what we call retrorse barbs on them. So think of the barbs on a fish hook, and that's really what a retrorse barb would look like. So you have the spines that'll poke you, and you have the glaucids, these little hairs with retrorse barbs that get stuck in your hand, or wherever it is they get you, and then they work their way in, you can't get them out. So you might not think that's that dangerous, just a cactus pad. It's only a plant, as they say, but it's, these can be vicious. I can remember quite a few years back on a botany expedition to Texas with my friend Neil. I won't use his last name unless he, because he may not want me to. I was picking my way through some cactus plants and I was wearing shorts and Neil was off in the distance kicking at a cactus plant. He had big boots on and I'm trying to stop him as Neil he kicks it, that cactus pad came right up, planted itself right in my leg, just below the knee, and it stuck. Luckily, at the time, I had my little pocket knife, and I had to use that pocket knife to pry that pad off of my knee. I was picking out spines and glaucids for two weeks after that. Neil swears that that cactus pad defied the laws of physics because he says he was kicking another direction. The, what, what I know about the way plants are out to get me now, I believe him. That's the second vicious plant weapon. We've survived it. Watch the third video in this series to see the final one. Until then, stay safe.